Hey guys, CJ here with PBX How To's. Talk to you today about abbreviated dialing lists at a system level. Now, abbreviated dialing lists are basically speed dial lists that you can set up in your system to allow users to make calls to frequently called numbers. So that could be remote offices or vendors or customers, things like that. Now, the nice thing about a system list is it gives you um, it gives you the ability to allow users to call privileged numbers that they wouldn't normally be able to call, like let's say international. So, um, if you could, as you can see, I'm displaying my Brewery to Dialing List system level, and I don't have one, which means you got to go add one. So I'm going to say add abbreviated dialing system. Um, and as you can see, and I'm going to show you again here in the help file, G3, V3 and older systems, you can only have up to 90 entries. And G3, V4 and higher, you can have up to 100 entries. So I always populate it with 100. And I'm going to say, yes, this is a privileged list because I'm going to have privileged numbers in here, specifically uh, international. All right, so label English is English. <laughs> Boy, did I mess that up. Label language <laughs> is English. Again, I'm getting over a cold, so bear with me. All right, so uh, for the first one, I'm going to say 9, uh, 0, 1, 1, uh, 4, 4, 0, 1, 2, 2, uh, 4, 4, 8, 8, 8, 8. I'm just making stuff up here, guys. And I'm going to say this is the London office. This one's going to be uh, 9, 1, 2, 1, 2, 5, 5, 5, 1, 3, 1, 3. This is going to be New York office nine. Let's say we're in. Let's say we're in Arizona. So I'm going to say nine four eight zero five 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 one four one four. This is the Tempe office, and I'm going to add voicemail as well, which is star nine nine. Basically, it's a feature access code, or you know, get to a coverage path, or or something else that's in the feature access codes. And for this case, I'll just say voicemail. I'm also going to add some ACD. So star 48, ACD login, star 49, ACD log off or log out, whatever you want to call it. And let's say star 54, ACD auto in. Now, why would you do these? Well, two reasons. You want to give these, these numbers these you know these these system program numbers to people who don't want to have to remember them or you want to program them to a phone and you can do that and I'll show you how to do that on a station now the reason for these labels over here you may have telephone sets like the 2420 or things like that where you allowed where you are able to download the labels to that phone and if it does it's going to download the label right here using what I've typed in here so I'm going to go ahead and submit this and as you can see, as I did in the beginning, now you see the list. So the list is there, and now I can add these to my station. Change station 1000. Now you can see here's my station. I'm going to go down to my abbreviated, my abbreviated dialing list. And as you can see from my previous video on the personal, you see I have everything already in here for the personal. So I'm going to set list 2 to my system. And I'm going to say, all right, for my template phone, Starting at button 9 for 2420s, it's going to be uh, the list 2, dial code 1 for our international office, brief it dial in list 2 for our New York office, list, oops, sorry, list, or dial code 3 for the Tempe office, yeah, that's right, <laughs> list 2. 04 for voicemail, and oh, by the way, you can set a voicemail number right here, just so you guys know. But I'm just showing you for this as an example. And we're going to say this is the AC, this is an ACD template. So we'll say logins here, ABRV, D, list 2, 06 for log off, ABRV, D, list 2, 07 for auto win. Okay. So. That phone's ready to go when I when I power up my phone. And what I'll probably do in a, in a later video is I'll actually install IP soft phone. So we'll download the image of the phone so you can actually see the labels populate and stuff. But um, I don't have a phone handy. If I did, I'd turn on my webcam and show it to you. But regardless, you know, it's there. The phone's now ex able to be or able to ex access those uh, dial codes. Now, you can also access these. 
via their feature access codes. And because that phone is on list two, that individual, or me, on station 1000, if I dial star zero two in any of those dial codes that are in my system list, I can access them via feature access code. All right, so I have two ways to do it, via feature access code or via my buttons on my phone. Now, let's say you have specific numbers, and you know, remember I was talking about the privileged. Let's say you have a, an analog station, and that analog station is um, 2500. We're going to say X just for now. We're going to say it's a lobby phone. And this, this lobby phone has a, a core. Let's, I'm just making one up here. Core 6, which doesn't allow that phone to call out. It's just able to call in. But if I go down and I tell it system list number 1, that station can now, or anybody knows, that they can go to this station... And they can call using the feature access codes. Uh, they can call our remote offices. They can call London, Tempe, New York. They can use and access that system list as long as they know those codes. They can also access the voicemail. Let's say they want to access voicemail. Well, they can do that from this phone, so they don't have. To. They can go to any phone, pick it up, and dial as long as their system list is assigned to them. They can have access to those uh, to that abbreviated system list. Okay, so. That is the abbreviated dialing list on the system level at a basic level. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments section. Also, let me know if there's any other uh, topics you'd like me to record on. I'd be happy to do so. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, tell your colleagues, friends, and I'll be making more. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.